So, uh, I've had this for a, um, probably about two, two and a half weeks now. Um, picked up a couple of these, uh, like most people thinking it might be the next revolution in the, with, uh, with the Genesis Addy. So what we're going to talk about today is the Porous Ceramic Wick. Available at quite a few places. I'll put some links down in the description. Here we go. Kind of, first off, there was a change in outfits. I did the intro last night. The kids were being way too aggressive and loud and not wanting to go to bed to finish it. So, I figured I'd wait and go on and get it done today. Um, so, first off, I got to take myself out of the equation a little bit on this one. Um, because although this does not necessarily vape, satisfy my vaping style, um, I have to uh, take into account that not everybody vapes like me. Probably 10% of the vapors out there on Genesis is vape like I do which is, you know, 1.2 ohms and below sub-1 ohm vaping, or what they call extreme vaping. Um, on this, which I, I've got this in AC, the uh, ceram poor ceramic wick or air stone, bubble stone, in an AC9 on a, um, a, uh, a brushed finished Caravello with an 18350. Um, big shout out to my buddy Rick Weschler for uh, letting me borrow the Caravello for the synthesis review that I have coming. Um, so we'll take a vape off of it and have some thoughts. Now on this, I have a four wrap of 32 gauge cancel, which is probably the most common coil that's rolled. Um, it meters out, I, I think I metered it at like one six, one seven, and I can get a satisfactory eight second pull off of it. Um, I would say for most people, that's plenty. But whenever you start to play with lower resistance wires, like 30, 28, I mean, I've even got spot of 26 here um, it can't keep up um, I have found that I would say the optimal range for I guess if you balance for maximum vapor but I don't know the maximum amount of time that the wick can go a 50 50 juice above 1 5 is really kind of a sweet spot um, when I first got it, I did a, uh, a four wrap of 28 gauge, and that metered out somewhere around one, uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, um, with 100% VG juice. I could get about a three second pull off of it before it would dry out with a solid like two o'clock tilt. Um, I then tried to uh, add a wrap to it. Um, that got me up a little above one ohm. Uh, again, it, it increased the pull to you know about four, four and a half seconds. Um, so then I thought, you know, let me just go ahead and do it like the average person would vape, and so 32 wrap, 32 gauge, full wrap, and it it does a good job. Um, so, like I said, taking myself out of the equation. Would this satisfy most Genesis Vapors out there? Probably. Um, me, no. Now, I've, uh, I've kind of done a little market research. Uh, I talked to several people who've tried them, who have them, and uh, there's been some complaints of, uh, of breaking them. Um, it is a very delicate material. I think it lends itself to like, I don't know, a slightly modified Peter K method. The one that I have, I, I haven't had any trouble putting coils on it. I haven't, uh, it's pretty sturdy. I got it in and it was too long. So I took some needle nose, the little shear at the bottom of the needle nose and just chopped it off and stuck it in there and wrapped a coil like I do on the unit and mine didn't break. So I don't know, I guess, you know, we're talking about a material that you go buy at Petco and then you sand down. So, I mean, it's not like there's really a quality control yet in this industry for this type of product. Um, Ceramic wick will come down to probably three products. It'll come down to uh, one for low resistance, um, 
and 100% VG juice. Then there needs to be one for medium resistance uh, and kind of a 50-50 juice and then a, a high resistance with uh, you know some, some mix of the three. And where that'll happen is increasing the size of the pores, you know, it being porous ceramic. Now I don't know if you would call bubble stone or air stone or what's being touted as a porous ceramic wick as porous ceramic, but maybe. Um, as it stands now, you know, I, uh, that's not how I vape. My wife, she actually likes the porous ceramic. Um, and one other thing, I would tell you the dry heads, it's different from mesh. Uh, mesh does wick faster, but whenever you get a dry hit on mesh, it like burns, it hurts your throat, it burns your nose. I've noticed the dry hit on the porous ceramic is more of a, it's a dirty taste. It's not that punch you in the face dry hit from a, from a hot spot or from a, you know, catching a dry hit on a, on, on a mesh wick. So I would have to, so again, I would have to say, you know, final thoughts on it. it might be okay for most people. I would say be, be very careful with how you, uh, how you roll the coil because, you know, buddy of mine broke two, another buddy of mine broke three. Um, mine's pretty sturdy, so um, there are several places out there to buy them now. I'll, uh, I'll put a link down in the description to a couple of them. Um, they're going for about three for twenty bucks, so you do want to be careful wrapping the coil. But again, mine, I didn't really have a tr any trouble with it, so we'll give it one more go and uh, we'll call that it. Try to get a big one. So, that's what I got. It's Jamie, JC West, ECF, Vape Pit, UK Vapors, New Vapors, Vapor Wall, Facebook, just about everywhere else. Be strong, vape on. See you again next time.